Pokemon water signs to your shocker reading for October. Hope you guys are doing great out there. If you friends like this, hit that big old like button. This is a collective reading for a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Guys, I am going to post as I usually do each sign individually, but I am posting uh, one video for all, right? Uh, and the reason I'm doing that is because of shorts. Okay, so if I get somebody to get on there, maybe they'll just go straight to that shorts video, you know, from the shorts video straight to the all video, make it easier for them. So it's going to be a little weird uh, stepping outside my comfort zone to see exactly what can, we can do over here, right? Um, so talking about that perfection, um, beautiful card coming out for you guys. This is saying I have high the high standards for myself that I also have for others, right? So I'm not limited to you know, to downsizing myself, right? It's kind of, it's like, you know, if I expect you to do it, I expect myself to do it as well. So really, I love it. it it's bringing in that rich shocker for you guys. I love that. Okay, and this is talking about, are you being too hard on yourself and consequently on others? Begin to look for what's right and good in the world and you will see it. So what it's really saying is, yes, you know, I'm not going to treat somebody that I don't treat myself the same way, but, but are you being too hard on yourself? So now we have to look at it like, yes, I keep high standards for myself as others, but maybe I'm being a little over too critical on myself, which is something I wouldn't do towards others, right? So I'm looking at myself saying, I need to push harder. I could do this, right? Um, hmm. So, do not allow yourself to be too much of a perfectionist when it comes to situations, right? Not everything has to be done just perfectly, right? So, you have a beautiful transformation ahead. You have uniqueness. You have the acceptance. You are who you are, but you don't need to push so hard, right, that everything is so overly critiqued from yourself, okay? So what do we have? Just show yourself the love. I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. And we're talking about that beautiful root chakra again, right? Doesn't have to be 100% perfect, right? You can have your own unique twist to things and don't be so hard on yourself. Rainbow blessings. Blessings are showering your life. Well, it, you know, the card literally says right here, what did I say? Transformation ahead. Being in the acceptance that where you put your uniqueness, where you put what you have, will bring in that blessing, right? It doesn't have to be perfect. Or the hidden blessings. Wow, hidden blessings again. So don't tell me there's no hidden blessings. Alignment, it's coming together in precision. So everything that you're doing is already pretty precise as it is. It's done the way it's supposed to be done, right? You don't have to go back and keep critiquing it and critiquing it and critiquing it, okay? Or cr critiquing yourself, right? Everything is beautiful. Everything is aligned. You're doing what you're supposed to be doing for those hidden blessings. It's just something that you're not seeing because you're overanalyzing something, okay? Or maybe everything. So think of it in your life, you know, where it's like maybe I'm looking for too much perfection within myself. Your fruit. I love it because it shows her fruit. Her fruit is already ripe, but it's almost like she keeps going back trying to perfect that fruit to make it even better. Right? So just love what you're doing and just know that what you're doing is what you're supposed to be doing. Okay? Absolutely. I love it. You have the Eight of Cups over here for the happiness of your future. Your future is aligned. It's coming together. You're doing, like I said, exactly where you're supposed to be doing. You're on the right path of your profession. Your profession is looking beautiful. Um, you have the, the family life, the domestic life. You have all the hope. You're attracting the passions that you need. It doesn't need to be any more than what you're already giving. You're already giving 110%. I mean, there's really nothing in life that's higher than 110%, <laughs> right? So it's like, you know, if you 
you're, you're giving it everything you have and you're already allowing the blessings to come through. It's just that you're always looking for more and more and more or how I can fix this and that. You're not going to see the blessings. Okay, so over here, yes, you're not going to see it. It's the struggle, the labor. You've labored, right? You've put in the labor. You're waiting for these rewards to come in. You have the victory with the nine of cups, the love, the career. Everything that you're working on is literally aligned. Everything that you're working on is coming through, guys, this month. Okay, it's just little by little. So you don't have to worry so much. Don't overstress yourself on something. Whatever it is that you're overstressing yourself on, thinking I can make this so much better, it's already perfected. It's already showing that things are coming in for you. Have the knowledge. Look deep within the situation and watch the magic. Watch the magic happen. Not the magician, guys. Watch the magic happen. It's unfolding before your eyes. The only problem is, is saying because you're looking so deep within this situation, so deep within that cup, that you're not seeing the overall magic, right? You have the Wheel of Fortune. I mean, what else do you want me to say, right? If you have the Wheel of Fortune, then you, you, you already see the luck. The luck is on your side. Now just allow your fruit to just completely start ripening. There's no more to the drawing board. There's no more, you know, I'm tying this bow and I think that loop might be, you know, not as good as that loop. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. It's, it's fine. It's exactly where it's supposed to be. Okay. Once you stand back and you see the situation, you will definitely be in the high priestess mode for the overall knowledge and understanding. You will definitely, once you take a step back as the hermit, see exactly and as the temperance that everything is moving moderately for you everything is going exactly the way it's supposed to be flowing it's on the wheel of fortune that's going with the flow allowing things to unfold the way now they supposed to unfold you might be thinking that maybe i would need it perfected because it's not moving fast enough well temperance patience right overworking a situation okay just take that step back take breath and you will see everything unfold i mean just how beautiful is that definitely in line guys probably seeing a lot of one one ones double digits that i wouldn't doubt fives okay coming out as the inference what you've co-created, what you've, uh, there's two cards of co-creation and just watching the magic happen. I mean, there's really nothing more to that. I mean, you've, you've done what you're going to do. Now you're just going to walk the rainbow bridge, guys, straight to victory. Let's get add an angel card and see what's going on with you. Raise or promotion? Like, you got to be kidding. What did I just say? <laughs> You've shown even the boss who you are. Show the world who I am. Congratulations. An increase in your abundance flow awaits you. This is a result of your positive focus and willingness to take action based on your divine guidance. Keep up the good work. See? You don't need to perfect anything. You've already done it. It is safe for you to receive. The more you allow yourself to receive, the more resources you have available to share with others. Open your arms to receive and to be a conduit for good comings to you and through you as it is, as it blesses the world and blesses yourself. So pretty much what it says is if you're in perfection mode all the time, right, you can't step back to see the blessings. So now what you're supposed to do is stand back Right? Look at what's coming toward you and with open arms and open hands, it's time to receive. Wow. You guys have a beautiful message for the month. Good luck to each and every one of you. I know your blessings will come in. No matter how big or how small, you will have those blessings. Till next time, my friends. Peace and love. Bye-bye.